We are live from the Spira Clinic in Faithful, Arkansas, and today we have two people ringing the bell, um, and I am so sad to see these two very special patients go, but we're so excited for you guys. So, first, Helena. <laughs> Helena came here from Australia. Yep. How many weeks ago? Three months ago, so 14 weeks I've been here now. Yeah. And how long have you had complex regional pain syndrome? 10 years now. So it'll be my 10th anniversary in um, April. Where are you today? I'm pain free. And so <laughs> If you speak, Lena, I, I do want your beautiful mom that's been next to your side every step of the way. That's not crying, right. she's not making me cry. <laughs> and now we have many people watching in Australia, and if you're watching from afar, please drop a line for us, let us know where you're watching from, and now we have some of our world people watching today. And your family's amazing, you guys are amazing. I loved your sister too, and I'm assuming I'm gonna love everyone else in your clan. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's the actual like blood relatives, which all helped me fundraise and get here. Then of course there's the family friends who are well, basically um, family anyway, they were pretty much my cousins growing up, and they all came together and got me here and had that overwhelming support. Then there's my friendship group that have stuck by with, by with me since before. I was unwell and always believed in me and they did whatever they could to scram you up a little bit of money. So um, I'm very blessed to have the people that surrounded me to get me here. So, yeah, I then you come here. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, of course I made more family. I mean, I'm looking around the room right now and there's family everywhere. Um, they helped me push through the obstacles. They inspired me to work hard. So I always had a smile on my face. Um, got me smiling when I had a rough day. Um, showed me Arkansas, um, <laughs> tolerated me, because I could be um, sometimes annoying, but they enjoyed me apparently, so yeah, I've been very, very lucky. Bryce, I would like to get your therapist up here. I was both of them. I was both of them. We love you. It, it, was, it was great to, to have them both in the office there. It actually came into like a mother-daughter rivalry. You know, each each one wanted to, to best the other one, and you know yeah. you got some big shoes to fill with mom, but you did fill them. Yeah, his um, line was, um, "But your mom could do it." <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of got to a point to see, you know, how how hard we could go in there without killing you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're standing here today. Yeah. So I that, never said uncle, so that's a true testament to it. You know, she she never really really doubted what we were doing and, and then she never really doubted herself um, each time in there whatever it was you know maxing her body out you know allowing her body to tell her that she couldn't do it not her head and, and you know she really did earn the title of Miss 100 with that uh, just the other day we did four different exercises four different path placements and 100 on each one of them a true warrior effort wow. true warrior effort yeah. Yeah. Mom saw, you know, how the results were going and came in and had some issues with her back and signed up for some treatments. We took care of those too. So it, it was definitely uh, a good time to be he said there. I did Google yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not like this anymore, yeah? You stand upright. <laughs> so what I want to do is see some videos when you, when you get back uh, uh, some netball. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, um, hope I'll be able to find a pickup game soon. Couldn't make my grand final, only set by one game. Unfortunately, she'll be back. Yeah, she'll be back, stronger, yeah. more fierce. Uh huh. Do you want to say anything? <laughs> no, no. Yes, I do want to first take our friends back home, our relatives, who really did a good job to support us. And we come here and we find so many nice people. And I get so attached to everyone. <laughs> It's about us who do amazing job and make our kids well. And it's uh, everyone in the writing room, patients and supporters, they all great. And I will remember you forever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a great job. You ready? No, because this means I have to go home.
hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really gonna miss everybody, um, but I guess it's time, so. <laughs> Regional pain syndrome. How old are you? Um, I'm 11. 11 years old. Were you 11 when you came here? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot to deal with. How old were you when you got CRPS? Eight. Eight years old. Uh, tell me a little bit about um, how that changed your life. Um, well, I had CRPS for almost 30 years, and I've been injured four times. Um, that then and um, it was hard this last time just to actually believe I was going to get well because <laughs> I've been injured and I thought that it was like I was going to keep on getting injured every day. So it was really hard for me to get better, but I just didn't think I was going to get better, but. Like once I like changed my mindset, I noticed that's like really when I started making the, like a lot of progress. Let's get your therapist up here. Speaking of progress, the beast <laughs> beneath your wings. How'd you get in here, Cole? A wheelchair. Would you come in? A wheelchair? Yeah. You're gonna run out, aren't you? Dr. K has been trying to get you a, a, on a running video. Can we run live? Can we run out of here? Are you ready to run today? We've never done that. So we'll ring the bell and then you can run. I just want to know if your parents have anything they want to say. <laughs> well, it's just, it's amazing that you can bring them in here in a wheelchair and they can run out. Um, you know, and it's true healing. It's not pharmaceuticals and and masking everything and covering up the problem, it's, it's healing. So, um, it's Cole, had, Cole had an incident last weekend where uh, he came in with his, his left foot was the primary area of the CRPS, but he had a little accident this last weekend where, what'd you do? Rolled my ankle. Rolled your right ankle, right? Yeah. And in the past, that's always been something, new sight, new injury, CRPS all over again, right? And what happened? Normal. Nothing, right? <laughs> so that, that's a big deal. A lot of confidence moving forward, too. Yeah. So that's the healing. The real way. We're just thankful. We're thankful for everybody here. We're thankful for all the people that really that brought us here and helped us to get us here, who prayed for us, who believed in us, and who prayed for you guys and brought you. Who put this together? Who come to work every single day, day in and day out? You guys come and you might not be having your best day, but we don't know you're not having your best day. Everybody comes in and they put their best foot forward to make to really give our son a chance for to be a normal kid and all the patients here. And we like you said, we've dealt with this for three years and whether it's been a month or three years or ten years, anyone who's at CRPS knows that even a minute's too long to deal with it. The fact that he, you know what it is was just so reassuring. Most places, no one has heard of it, or even the professionals, no one really fully understands it. And to say that you can get well, and just again this weekend with him falling and rolling his ankle, and we had swelling, and we had all those things, and it didn't explode, it went away. We're just really, really thankful. 
really thankful and we're thankful that God brought us here. All right, so I need two volunteers. So can I open the doors for us? When the cold runs out of here. <laughs> You're going to ring this bell and we're going to have to run out here.